video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can use the polar grid tool in Illustrator to create some really unusual designs, especially particularly radial designs. Now, first thing to do, just going to quickly go over to the actual tool itself. And there's the tool, line segment tool, and polar grid tool. Just see it there. Now, default is actually going to go for no fill and also stroke. So I'm just going to just drag that out there, and that's the default settings. You can see the design there. And it's got concentric circles. Now I don't want those. So what you can do, just go there and double click there, and you can set that to zero. So if you set that to zero, then you can set this say maybe to 20. Click OK, and that will generate this design. Now weirdly it actually creates a circle, one concentric circle. So anyway. What you can do is object and ungroup, and then of course you can actually just delete that. So you can set the color, obviously this black, you don't have to keep it black, you can set it to any color, and they're also individual designs. So you can actually just say ungroup that. So you can actually select that individual spoke, and you can then modify the actual design as well. So I'm just gonna select all those, and what you can do, you can also, it's just basically a standard stroke, so you can add maybe a width profile. So just go over there, you can actually, if I set it a bit greater than that, to 60 point, you can actually see the design. And you can actually then go through there, you can see the different designs. You can just create using the standard width profiles. Now, of course, you might have a lot more than that, or maybe not, depending on what you've created. Also, you can, of course, just go over to the tool over here. I'm just going to go down to the width profile, and uh, there it's width tool. And what you can do then, you can actually just click on there. You can just modify that. So you can just click there and just modify them individually. Now, if you've got tools such as the Wit Scribe tool from Astute Graphics, you can also modify it. And I'm just going to quickly go to Object and Path. And you'll see an option there, Very Width Markers. Just select that. And then you can just basically play around a whole range of different designs. Of course, you can modify it even more using other widths tools, but this one you can actually create some variations and modify in a whole range of different designs in different ways, as well as merge, and you can see that, leave unchanged, and so on and so on. So, just gonna go back to that one and click OK. And at that point, of course, you can just go to Object and Expand, so, right and combine them all together. Now, just gonna go back to the, the tool itself. So just select that and go back to the actual polar grid. So you just go back there and what you can do, actually apply it again. You can of course modify it. So you can just double click again and say, instead of 20, you can go for 30 and you can just apply it again. Now, of course I've just lost that one. So I don't just go back and I'm gonna give it a stroke there of maybe Eight points. Now you don't have to go, of course, use the same. You could actually vary that, say so maybe make that 12, and then go to this one and apply again. And of course, you could vary the actual radial setting again. And again, you could vary that as well. Or maybe change the color is another option. So just quickly go over here and set it to red. Or maybe change the opacity. Maybe make it more transparent. Right, I hope you found this quick tutorial about the polar grid, and of course there's vast amounts more things you could actually do with the polar grid of interest. Thank you very much.